Hi, this is Malia from Loom with M, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this little adorable starfish charm. You can choose to add eyes, as I have here on the pink one and the mango colored one, or you can not have eyes. I personally love the eyes, but that's just your decision. For this design, I am going to be using this chart to help me remember, and I don't know if I'll be able to get it so you can look at it too, but I'm just going to show it to you right now. I just printed the template off of the Rain Balloon website so you can always remember that you can do that too. Okay, band requirements. Can you see that? Let me zoom in. Okay, you're going to need 32 rubber bands plus two eye beads. And if you don't have the eye beads, you can use black rubber bands, okay? And I will show you how to do that with rubber bands also. And, but, I mean, I think I really like the beads, and they're just cheap to buy at a craft store, so if you have beads, try to use them, because I think they're really cute. Okay, let's get started. So, I have my loom. Let me zoom out so you can see more of my loom. Okay. And I picked up my rubber bands. I'm going to use pink. And I have my two eye beads. Now to start this starfish design, we need to put a single band. Oh, dropped it. From the top pin going down. Okay. And then we'll need to do double bands, three in a row. So one, two, three, three down, okay? And next we need to place four bands going into the center from four different pegs, which are going to make the start of the arms of the rest of our starfish. First one goes from the center out to the right and then from the center to the top left, center to the bottom left, and then the center to the bottom right. So you should have four bands going from the center peg out. Next, we need to place two rows of double bands coming from both sides. So one, two, and then do that on the other side. One, two. Now, for this part, I think it's easier than trying to loop this backwards. So I'm just going to do it on my hook. You could do this on your loom, but I find it easier to do it on my hook. So I'll show you how. We're going to take our hook and put a band on. Wrap it three times around, so there's like three little rings on it. Then we're going to take double bands, put them on our hook, and slide the cap band through it. So put all of these rubber bands onto this double, two rubber bands. And next we're going to do another chain, so grab another two rubber bands, and pull it, pull that onto the next rubber band. So we have a little single chain. Now I'm going to show you how to do the eyes. Um, I'm just going to show it with beads, but you could wrap a band around three or four times depending on how tight your rubber bands are. And for the eyes, what you need to do, hold on, I'm going to put this on a random pin just so I can um, use my hook. So I'm just placing it on a random pin in my loom. and. For the eyes, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to do one eye right now and then one eye later in case, you know, you forget and there's another strategy that also works. Um, okay, craft wire. I've heard that dental floss works too. And this rubber band, you can stick one half of the craft wire through it so it's on the end there. And here, let me untwist it. Then I'm going to take my bead and I'm going to 
stick it on both ends of this craft wire. Stick it through both of them. And then I'm going to slide this bead onto the band. And then I can use my craft wire to kind of pull this rubber band back onto the pin. So you can do that on the other eye too, but I'm going to save my other eye for later just because I have another technique that I like to use when I forget the eyes because I'm a forgetful person sometimes. Now we're going to take, um, we're going to take this chain that we just made with the three times cap band and then the double darber bands made into a two single chain and we're going to place it on that pin that we just did the eye on. Okay. And since we still have cap bands to place, we need to lift these top two bands and put them, stretch them to another pin. I'm going to put them on this pin just because it's easier. So the top two bands, so this rubber band is now kind of stretched out between two pins. Now we need to make this chain again for the other side. So, single band wrapped around three times, and then two bands. Sorry, two bands and lift that cap band onto them and put the other end on your hook. Now another two bands oh. and then lift these onto that. Put the other end on your hook. So we just made another one of those. And now we need to put this on this peg like on the other side. And like on the other side again, we need to lift those top two bands and put them on the other peg. It's just because we're going to put a cap band there and we need to like act like it's going to be looped over and I just found it easier than trying to loop it backwards. Now we need to place our cap bands. I'm zooming out, okay, three times around on the bottom of these two pegs. So three times around cap band, one, two, three, and I'm not as fast on this side, one, two, three, nope, that's only two times, come on, three, there we go, finally, and now we're going to take our last rubber band, if you count it out, 32, and we need to put it around all of these pins. This may be a little bit tight for you, so be very, very careful and use so much caution. I really don't want your rubber band to snap because that would just be so unfortunate and it'd make me sad. <laughs> and if you have not very stretchy bands, you might want to do this only once, but we need to put it around all of these pins and double it over. And let's say I can only get this far, so you can kind of use your hook to carefully help you stretch it around, doubled all of these bands. So it's going to be a very tight band, and that's kind of what's going to keep uh, the center of the starfish contained and more starfish shaped. Now we can begin looping. Can we? Yeah, we can. The first step is to lift these two bands that we move onto that pin back onto that same pin that we had them before so that this cap band is just so the cap band goes in the center of that band. And we have to do the same on the other side. Now we need to loop the eye bands. So this one's easy because we already have an eye on it. We need to grab the band, lift back all those bands, and pull it to the center. And the eye bead is on the other side, so we need it to come to the front. So you can kind of use your hook or fingers and just try to pull it up through that pin and lift it up higher on the rubber band. So this is kind of the tricky part, so you just kind of want to pull at it some so that that eye band that's underneath will come up to the top here. So I'm just going to kind of fumble around with it, see if I can get it on top. Okay, so I got it to the top. I basically pushed it from this pin 
up the channel here and then over to the top. Now I'm going to show you another way that I use when I forget the eyes or just if I want to do it this way. So it just gives you another strategy. We're going to pull back these bands and pull up this band and I'm going to pull it to a random pin and this pin is the closest and you can see that. And now I'm going to take my craft wire and I'm going to stick half of it through the band and I can lift it off the pin now. So you can see it's on the center of the craft wire and I just want to untwist it here. Okay. And now I'm going to place my bead on half of, no, both ends, sorry, both ends of the craft wire. And I'm going to thread it on to this band. And then carefully, I don't want the craft wire to rip the band. I can put this eye on the center pin. And then I can slide my craft wire out of the way. Now we just need to loop the other legs of our starfish. We're going to go in through the cap band either side. I'm just going to start on the right and grab those doubled over bands and bring them forward. And then just bring them to the center. So two bands up, then one band to the center. Now I'll do it again on the other side. Pull back the cap band, grab two bands, loop them forward, loop the next two forward, and then loop the single band. Careful for this cap band again, because it's very tight in there. Carefully bring it around the pin and pull it over. Now we need to loop just straight up the loom to the end. Carefully pull back all those bands that we just looped to the center and look for the bottom two bands and pull them forward. You know you're right, you pick the right ones when it kind of forms a V-shape and you can see the band underneath is kind of stretched out because you pulled at it. Next grab the next two bands, loop them forward and just loop to the top. Once you've looped the last band, then we're going to pull, come from the outside and pull the bottom loop over the top and then we can grab this and kind of give a little tug not too tight though because we don't want to break the bands and now we can pull our starfish off of the loom you can use your fingers or your hook I kind of use a mix of both just kind of be careful where it's tight on this cap band that's why I use my hook because I don't want my starfish to break and then continue ripping it off. Now it looks kind of funny so you might want to do a little bit of squishing around here. Kind of pull it around. And the eye bands are kind of squished underneath so you can pull them forward a little. And there you have it. There is your finished starfish charm.